Hello and welcome. I got a video clip here and it is out of sync. Let me just switch to the profile. Meaning that the audio and the video are not synchronized. Let me demonstrate. Secretary Tillerson will accompany the president for most of the trip, breaking off just before the G7 meeting. And as you know, the trip will begin. So as you can see, his lips do not move in sync with the audio. So we're going to fix that. Just going to maximize the space. So what we're going to do is okay. we're going to try to find a way to synchronize it again. But before we can do that, as you can see, we have to split audio and video. For that, just right click and select ungroup clips or press Control shift g So you can select this or click and Control shift g Ta-da! Now we can move them around separately. Bible ceremony in Riyadh, the president yeah, that, that was not it. So how do we figure out after the, after the, what the correct syncing would be? Well, my strategy usually is to look at the audio, to look for a big spike. For example, let's see. So this is a big spike. Let's, uh, okay, maybe not so big. And promote. And promote. And promote. Intended to fight radical. Yeah, I don't know if, if I could really see the words the words and promote being spoken very well but this seems promising we see there is a cut between different perspectives and we can see uh, we can hear the audio change here we have him speaking and here we have the crowd speaking so we probably can find where the audio switches so I'll ask Sean to call on, on any of you who have questions. Thanks. Okay, not really sure. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna guess where it gets louder. In this case, that's where they make the video cut. So let's see, where's the video cut? The video cut is over here. So ideally we could move this to the left, but that doesn't work because if we were to go uh, zoom out, we can see that moving to the left is impossible because there's a wall, there's a zero line there. Uh, we can either just move the audio track or if we really want to insist on moving the video track, which can just select everything and move it to the right, uh, like, I don't know, 30 seconds. All right, let's try to find this again. Looking good. And others more vulnerable. All right, so maybe here, maybe this is where the cut is. So let's now... Oh, Oops. Over here. So now let's start moving this to the left. Wait, what? All right, control, control Zing. I think I'm moving way too much. Am I moving too much? Control Zing again. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna actually make a cut. I'm gonna make a cut in the audio with Shift R. All right, so this is cut, and I'm gonna cut the video as well, just so I have orientation. And now let's see, where does the camera cut happen? Okay, let's use the arrow keys to zo uh, zero in on the camera cut. Click, 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 okay, here. So let's make a cut here, and now let's, whoops, shift, drag to select these, and now let's make this cut overlap with this cut. So I'm moving this to the left. All right, let's see how this looks. Uh, to, to make American citizens and others... Clearly, no. Okay, you know what? So this did, did not work. We uh, we cannot clearly see where the cut is uh, in the video and in the audio, but we can see when he stops talking, at least. And others more vulnerable. We can hear it. And others more vulnerable. So we can hear him talk here still. Let's see, at what point does he close his mouth for the final thing to say to the press that that okay so this person has a very distinct uh expression for i am not going to say anything anymore so this is very helpful we're going to make a cut here to the press that that Here, let's make a cut with Shift R, zoom out, and again Shift, well, Shift drag to select all this. And looks like, uh, yeah, I, I overshot a little. Is this going to be useful? And others more vulnerable. Mm, 
Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. The cut was useful, but I forgot to make a cut here. Honorable. So maybe shift R here. Shift select all this, and now I don't even know which of these two lines was the correct American one. Citizens and others more vulnerable. I think it was a sec. Uh, something. Sometimes zooming in Caden Lap is a bit weird. Okay, let's move it a little to the left. Now it might be okay. And others more vulnerable. This looks much better. Much better. Okay, so we messed around with cuts a lot. Um, I don't think there's a way to fuse anything like that. My solution is simply to delete everything on either side. And then just extend, just to keep my projects clean unless I want these cuts to be present in the clips. Okay, so now we're going to try to fine-tune this. History. Let's see. Later that day. Later that day. Okay. Here he abruptly starts to talk. So we have maybe two frames in which we can approximate yeah, I think this this in the video should be this in the audio so I'm gonna move this three frames to the right later that day this looks pretty good later that day later that day later that day he will meet with Prime Minister Netanyahu that night the president and the first lady will join the Prime Minister and Mrs. Netanyahu for a private dinner the mm -hmm. following morning, the president said, okay. you know, the trip will begin and start and, uh, for most of the trip. Rick I would try to find another cut and see if it somehow matches with the audio. Of the trip. And so I'll ask Sean to call on, on any of you who have questions. Ah, back to this one. General McMaster. General McMaster. Excellent. General McMaster, you came out to the stakeout area Okay, that, that's not really helpful with them being very small. I don't even know who's talking right now. Well, I cannot find anything else. By this time, all you can really do is uh, make two cuts somewhere in both tracks and then just experiment with moving them uh, one or two frames to the left and to the right. Which might be a bit hard to do because of auto... Ah, there we go. If you zoom in all the way in... Uh, what, I, what we don't do is discuss what is and what it was in class. I think this, sound, this sounds a little better. This looks a little better. So you're going to have to use your feelings. What I will tell you is in the context of that, that, uh, that discussion, what the president discussed with the foreign minister was wholly appropriate to that conversation. Okay, I'm not sure. So uh, what I... What when information that was given to the U.S. by an intelligence partner? By an intelligence partner? I think the other way was better. So, so this is what I would go with in this case. Yeah, so this is... Well, after this you of course want to clean up. We cannot extend audio that doesn't exist, so we would just have to reduce the video. Uh, remove this space in all tracks. Again, I would. My preference is to not have uh, cuts randomly in the middle of the tracks of the clips. So I would go like this. And yeah, I would just extend to the maximum possible. Unless you really need whatever is uh, left over. And then you can just fill it with blackness or. For common action and coordination. Or you can make a freeze frame thing. So extract frame to project. So just save that. Put it in here, I guess. And then just cut off the rest. For common action and coordination. Well, maybe you would look for something more neutral. Maybe like this. Yeah, let's let's do that. For common 
for common action and coordination. Yeah, this seems better. So this is my attempt at synchronizing desync audio and video in KDN Live. And I hope this is useful. People have been asking about this kind of stuff for years. Should also be useful for multicam arrangements. I will see you next time. Secretary Until then, Torsen will ciao. Be the president for most of the trip, breaking off just before the G7 meeting.